Hi, and welcome to 5 minutes about ADHD and autism. Today um, I'm, it might be especially about ADHD and medication. Um, when, uh, when the first doctor told me that, that my sons might have ADHD, we were, we were in a lot of doubt uh, and a lot of thoughts about should we medicate him or should we not. Um, and we, uh, many people told us that we shouldn't <laughs> medicate him but we should instead try hard to uh, find out, to change his food, or give him vitamins and a uh, lot of things. And we tried, we tried for I think one and a half year. Then we, uh, then we gave him no milk, then it was, uh, well, all kind of food <laughs> um, we, we uh, took from him. And um, he was suffering because he, he really liked milk and a lot of colors uh, and candy and we, we we took it all away and it didn't help he was still suffering and uh, i think he was about 10 years old uh, maybe nine um, when we start uh, a medication and uh, and then i was sorry i didn't do it before because um, before in school uh, he could have a, a task from his teacher uh, who told him to read a book and write about it and he could spend four hours about writing about a small, tiny book. And um, he, uh, on the paper uh, was written, um, a good book, um, sad end, um, and the names of those who were in the book. Um, he couldn't put, uh, he, he, he's a clever boy, but he couldn't put the words from his head to the paper or to the PC for, for that sex. Um, he couldn't, he, he couldn't, there was so much hyperactivity in his body. He told me once that it was three kilometers from his head to his hand. So, of course he couldn't write. It, it never came out there, all the words in his head. One week after he started on, uh, on Ritalin, on uh, medication for ADHD, he uh, gave the same, the same task uh, with another book. Write a book and write about it. In a half hour, he wrote one and a half side uh, pages. Um, and uh, he was so proud. Because for the first time, he could, he could deliver a task to the teacher and say, I did, it myself, my, I did it on my own. This is not my mother writing for me. It is not my brother or it is me. Only me. I did it this by myself. He was so proud, and so, and so many times I've seen this uh, on my pupils, who um, who started on medication. They realize, wow, I can, I can actually do this. I can be in the classroom without teasing anybody, without making noises, without uh, making troubles for myself or for the teachers. I can do it. I, I'm that boy I've always longed to be. Um, and then I realized uh, what what I was doing with my son all those years, he had to do it by himself. He had to fight without getting help from, from this hyperactivity who was running around in his head. Um, always, morning, nights, evenings, always. And um, And I realized that for me, it was not a hard decision, because actually, I think he would have, he wouldn't have a life if I didn't choose the medication. I think he would be so depressed and so sad if he hadn't had the help, if he never found out that he could, that he could use that brain of his to do something good, that he could um, get a, a school graduation and all that, just like all the other kids. Now he's having a job, um, and still with medication because without medication, hmm, he can't he can't do the job probably properly. He um, he has uh, he forgets things or he cannot um, concentrate and put focus on what he was doing uh, he's doing. So still now the medication is helping him. He's not taking it all the time. And, and my youngest son, I'm ten, eleven, sorry. Um, it often uh, it's not taking medication in vacations and uh, holidays. I 
because we, it takes us appetite. So in the weekends, we don't give him that much medicine and then he will eat a lot. And that is good for the body too. So I think everybody must find their own way of um, of, this, of taking this decision if medication should be given or not. But I don't think people should blame others for their decisions because it must be an individual um, in it must be seen in an individual perspective and uh, we must give each other that respect that um, we all do the best we can for our kids.